Cerberus is probably the most tactically minded um, faction that you'll fight in multiplayer and in single player. They'll use cover a lot more, try to smoke grenade to move up. They do have a lot of slow pressure, but they can offer the rapid closing that the Reaper faction can. My favorite enemy is definitely the Phantom. They just force you to constantly be on the move. If you're in cover, they run at you with their sword. If you're out of cover, they're pounding you with their palm blaster. The Asari, she has stasis, which makes her amazing against the Cerberus faction. Extremely powerful against Phantoms. She can just lock them down anytime she wants. But she's not as strong against Guardians, for example. Whereas the human has a lot of good powers for debuffing the bigger enemies or crowd controlling the little guys. When you're fighting Geth, you have the troopers that are trying to close with you to put punishment down, but you also have pilots and Geth hunters covertly moving in on your location. So the most dangerous enemy on the Geth faction is the Geth Prime. You can spawn turrets, you can spawn uh, combat drones. Anyone with sabotage will have a great advantage against the Geth faction because they can actually hack Geth platforms and get them to fight each other. My favorite unit in the Geth faction is a Geth Pyro. You can take him from range by shooting his tank and having it explode and take out a bunch of units around him. So spatial awareness is extremely important when fighting the Geth. The Reapers in particular are probably our hardest faction right now just because they're so aggressive. Uh, the Banshee, the Groot, the Ravager, they just come at you and it's not like Cerberus where you can bunker down in an area and just take them out as they come. You really have to stay mobile. As a designer, I love to see enemies that are big, vicious, that get in your face and cause all kinds of problems. The most dangerous one is by far the Banshee. She can teleport at you, she can uh, sink kill you instantly. You can definitely hear her screaming, so you'll know when she's coming. You just have to stay in constant communication. And no one should ever stay close to a Banshee. Even the Vanguards, you do not want to charge the Banshee. So you're going to have a lot of different challenges fighting the different factions in multiplayer and single player, so good luck.